Hi there, welcome to this video from me, Mark Gray, or Sound Megas as some of you may know me. Today I thought we'd just kind of mess around and see if we can find a patch that we like and make it a little bit more interesting using an MSEG or a multi-stage envelope generator. So let's just see if we can find, right, what have we got? I've just got like a kick in the bass here. Let's see if we can find the sound that we like that we can put with that. Let's see what we got here. Let's try that. Just for um, ease of use, really. So we've got a basic, it's kind of like a super saw, saw wave in which is obviously modulating. So the LFO will be controlling something. Yeah. And they're controlling a the cutoff, this one here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use an MSEG just to kind of make, like, turn this into like a, an arpeggiator on a gated sound. Um, but we're just going to use some really basic techniques to do that. So the first thing we do is we figure out do we want it quarters, sixteenths notes or seconds. We'll go for sixteenths. And we'll make a an eight bar loop. So what we do is we come down, see these green markers here? We go to the first one in the loop, right click on it, and select loop start. And you can see that bounce back to there. And we'll go to this one, it's a different shade, so it's already loop end, but I'll show you if you just right click on it. Oops. Loop end. There we go. And then if you double click here. Oh, sorry. If we go, if you've got all these extra markers, just hold Alt and click, and just drag over and get rid of them. Then double click here, and we've now got the whole eight bar window. And all we're going to do now is just create like a little arpeggiator or a gate, really, and just try and kind of find some melody. And what we're going to do is drop the volume on the oscillator and go to the volumes modulation source or modulation parameter and choose MSEG1 and turn it all the way up. So now you'll just hear this. And it's that easy. So now you can just draw something in. So let's try keep it playing. I don't really want to hear the kick in the bass at the moment. <laughs> And I'm just straightening the lines by double clicking. If you left click on one, you can pull and push to make them all kinds of different. Let's just mess around and see what we can come up with. So. As you can see, it's kind of got short here. We've kind of lost some of it. It's because whenever you drag these, depending on what mode you're in, these will get dragged back and forth. So if we go to that one, yeah, that's the one you want because that means that everything to the right or left doesn't get moved. So we want that. We just want to be able to move the one we're working on. But what we'll do is just pull this along a little bit, take this one back up to nine and loop in just to make sure it stays there. And we'll just draw in extra nodes or points as we go. So let's have a listen. And obviously the higher the point is, the more it affects uh, the sound. And we've got the MSEG1, so this is acting as basically a volume uh, envelope filter. A amp an ampl amplitude filter. However you want to think of it. It's basically just volume on, 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 when it's down here, it's off, basically. So let's, right, I'll just hold down Alt, left click, draw some more nodes. Draw another one in there. Maybe pull that right down to here. See what that sounds like. So 
So there you go, all ready. That's it. It's done. It's very, very easy. Very simple. So now if I put the kick and bass back in. And of course you can be as detailed as you like. So you can put even more nodes in. Make it more complex. What's your timing though, of course. Make that a little sharper and I can add just a little one there. So what does that sound like? It's almost like a little trill there. And of course, depending on the sound as well is um, related to how accurate you can get it. Uh, or how defined it sounds. Speeding it up. course you can we've basically used that as I said as an amplitude envelope but you can control let's control the cutoff with it as well so let's try that see what happens tuning just for fun And you can use it for, well, anything that can be automated, really. Resonance as well. So as you can see, you can get pretty freaky with it. Sorry, I forgot to have my ducking on there. So it really does depend on your imagination, I suppose. So that's how to use an MS EG to create a gated type pattern. And um, in Zebra, you've got, let me just save this. I use that, but we'll call that um, basic vol gate one. And make sure I save it in the right place. There we go. Um, if you're using Zebra, you can also click in here where it says default, and depending on what you've got, there's lots of factory ones, so you can have stuff like this.
So you can get really creative and you can save your presets with your patch. So I hope you found that interesting. It's a little bit different and a, quite a short one today. But if you use them and you create any really cool stuff, why don't you post them up and let us have a look at them? Or a listen to them even. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.